So you installed Windows 11 and then in the startup menu you see something incredible. Disney Plus, Spotify and many more ads. Perhaps you liked some of these applications and that's normal. You know what? I don't mind. But wouldn't it be better for us to decide do we need them? or maybe we don't want to see them at all. To be honest, there is a simple solution to this problem. After all, during installation of Windows 11, we need to change only one option. And I want to say right away that we will not use any commands or third-party software. Believe it or not, but everything is much simpler than it might seem at the first glance. So, let's get started. And here we go. First of all, we need to download Windows 11 ISO file and for this we will use Microsoft official website. I will type next. Download Windows 11 and press enter. Here you will find Microsoft official website, a link I will leave in the video description. So I will click on download Windows 11. As you can see, we will use Windows 11 original ISO file 22H2 version. So we need to scroll down a little bit until we will find download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Here we need to click on select download and select Windows 11 multi edition ISO for x64 devices. Click on download now. Wait a sec. Then you just need to select your language click here and decide which language will be suitable for you. In my case, I will select English United States and click confirm. After all this process, you will be able to download Windows 11 ISO file. You need to click on 64-bit download. Of course, you need to select the place where you want to save your file and ISO file. So I will select downloads and click save. Again, click on save and it will automatically download on your laptop or PC. If we click here, you may see that an ISO file has 5.4 gigabytes of space and it may take about 12 minutes to download an ISO file, so be patient and take your time. As you can see, I successfully downloaded Windows 11 ISO file and now I will run a virtual machine, but you can repeat the same process on your laptop or PC, it will not make a big difference. And here we are in virtual machine, I will use VMware workstation. Click on create a new virtual machine, click next. Now I need to select Windows ISO file, so I will navigate to downloads. And here it is, Windows 11 22H2 English. You need to click on it and select open. Click next. Here I will type Windows 11 no ads. Of course I will create such a folder for Windows 11. Local disk D, virtual machine. Make new folder. Windows 11 22H2 no ads. It will be the chosen folder. OK. Next. I want to remind you to install Windows 11 on your laptop or PC. Your machine must meet Windows 11 system requirements, such as TPM 2.0. For this machine, I will allocate 100 gigabytes. I think it will be more than enough. Click Next. And I will do some simple customization. Here I will type 8000 megabytes, that is 8 gigabytes of RAM. And in the processors, I will allocate to processor. Then I will click on close and on finish. Now it will automatically run Windows 11. My friends, I want to mention that you will see the exactly same window, the same installation process. Now, please pay attention and take your time because this is the most important moment in this video. In the time and currency format, you need to click and change English United States to English World. It is very important to select English World and click Next. So, believe it or not, but that's all. Yep, we just need to change one option. We need to click on install now. In this window, you need to enter your license key. Or if you want to activate Windows later, you can click I don't have a product key. Then select suitable for you edition. I will select Windows 11 Pro. Click next. Check this option and accept Microsoft terms and conditions. 
click here. Of course, I will select advanced installation. From this place, you need to allocate space for the main partition and for D or E drives. So if you don't have enough space like I do, for example, you have only 100 gigabytes, you can allocate the entire space and click next. At this moment, you just need to wait until it will install Windows 11 on your SSD or hard drive and then we will proceed to the next stage. After a few steps, you will see this message, something went wrong. First of all, don't panic. This message is normal. We need to click on skip, select your keyboard layout. I will select US and I will skip the second one. It will restart your machine and its normal behavior. You need to choose how would you like to set up this device and I will select for personal use. Click next, sign in. For some people it can be a deal breaker because you need to sign into your Microsoft account but I will show you how to bypass Microsoft account easily. So we can type Andre, press enter and then you can type anything you wish. For the example, one, two, three, four and press enter. After this, you will see the next message. Oops, something went wrong. Click here and voila. Now we will be able to use a local account, which is fantastic. I will type user and press enter. I don't want to create a password. Click on next. And of course, I will uncheck all of these options. It is my personal preference, but if you wish, you can leave them by default. Click accept. Again, it's checking for the latest updates. Finally, we are in Windows 11 22H2 version. First that you may notice, if you click on the startup menu, you will not see any ads and that's just crazy because we just need to change one option and then you will see something that perhaps looks like clean windows. But of course, I want to mention a couple of things. First that I notice, if you click on the Microsoft Store, you will see this unhappy message. Try that again. Moreover, if we click on the startup menu and navigate to updates, you will not be able to get the latest updates. And to fix this problem, you need to do one simple thing. You need to click on time and language. From this place, you need to navigate to language and region. Click on it. Scroll down a little bit and here you will find country or region. In this case, you need to click on world and change it to your region or your country. For the example, I will select United States, Microsoft Store. Let's try to open it one more time. And voila, as you can see, this time everything works properly. And of course, let's check can we get the latest updates. And moreover, after getting updates, will ads appear again in the startup menu? We will find out. In this case, we just need to wait until it will install the latest updates. And after this, we will restart the system. My friends, I received the latest updates and restarted the virtual machine. And again, if we click on the startup menu, you will not longer see any ads, which is really great. My conclusions. If you don't want to see annoying apps and ads, definitely you should change this option during installation Windows 11. And after this, you can normally use your Windows 11, but without ads. If this video was useful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to customize Windows 11 with Google AI.